Well, this is going to be question 65 of the uh, June 2011 exam. Getting close to the end here. Let's see, it says a wave generator having a constant frequency produces parallel wave fronts to a tank of water in two different depths. The diagram represents the wave fronts. So it's going from deep water to shallow water. Now, I'm not sure what the relationship is. Oh, wait a minute. It tells me. As the wave travels from deep water into shallow water, the speed of the wave decreases. So velocity equals frequency times wavelength. And we're told that the speed is going to go down. The velocity is going down. The frequency must stay the same. If I got 10 waves per second here, I better have 10 waves per second here. Otherwise, I got waves just hanging out. They got nowhere to go. They're, I got to have the same frequency. So the velocity goes down. So does the wavelength. So they become closer together. So you could measure these. And they're about a centimeter apart. And so you could just simply make them a half a centimeter apart. And then you come back in with your ruler. You draw the lines. Of course, you're supposed to transfer this to your answer sheet, but uh, they come in. And you want them to be parallel, so uh, you probably could have drawn that a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that does it. Smaller wavelength, smaller velocity. That was easy.